Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment. Seen across the country and online, it's the award-winning TV series featuring celebrity interviews, music, lifestyle segments, and artistic talents. Join our on-air personalities as we bring to you a new path to entertainment. Today's guest has been behind some of the biggest animated movies of our lifetime, and now he's going to change how we are streaming short-form mobile videos with Quibi. I'm honored to welcome Jeffrey Katzenberg to Sidebox Entertainment. Hi, Jeffrey. Thank you so much for joining us today. Great. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Now, you've led an extraordinary career. You started out at Paramount Pictures, former CEO of Walt Disney Studios, co-founder of DreamWorks Animation. I, I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, very, very nice of you. <laughs> now, one of my favorite projects is Star Trek, and you were involved in bringing the show to the big screen. I also read somewhere that you were one of the main reasons why Leonard Nimoy came back as Spock. Now, yes. what was your experience like being a part of the Star Trek franchise, and how did you convince Leonard Nimoy to come back as Spock? Well, I, I, you know, let me just say, you know, uh, being involved with the Star Trek franchise literally at the very beginning of my career was a great, fun, exciting challenge. I was a, a Trekkie then, uh, you know, had watched the TV show pretty religiously and turning it into a movie franchise was a great experience. And I got a chance to work with Gene Rottenberry and Bill Shatner and Leonard Nimoy and, you know, all of the great talent around the show. Um, so a lot of fun, great time for me, but let's talk today about Quibi. Yes, absolutely. I just, I couldn't help myself because okay. I always, Very I good. always end up mentioning <laughs> with Star Trek. So as you mentioned, Quibi is a brand new streaming service that you started. This is a short form mobile video platform already popular with big names like Jennifer Lopez, Chrissy Teigen, Kevin Hart. Now, what caught your interest in developing this new service? Well, you know, I've been, I think, like all of us, watching over the years as the amazing uh, world of um, mobile video has sort of exploded. And certainly, you know, uh, YouTube and uh, Snapchat and today TikTok and IGTV and all of these things, Facebook Watch, they've all just been growing more and more and more. Mm -hmm. People are spending now 2 billion people watch 2 billion hours uh, or a billion, 2 billion, 2 billion people watch 2 billion hours of content every day. Um, so it's just amazing the amount of content that is being watched on a mobile phone. But that's quite different from the kind of things that we make in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. We make a very different type of story and storytelling. And so for, for me, the idea was, well, what happens if we could bring the skill, the talent, the creative, um, uh, storytelling that we have in Hollywood and actually bring that to this new form of um, uh, video on the phone uh, on the go. And that was sort of the big idea. And so Meg Whitman joined me as my partner in this and uh, created an incredible piece of new technology that allows video on your phone to look beautiful. I hope you've had a chance to watch some of this and, you know, can share with your watchers, your viewers that you know, I don't think you've ever seen stuff look like that on a telephone um, mm -hmm. uh, before. And, uh, you know, and that's that's by putting these new tools in the hands of the best talent in Hollywood um, and creating a new type of storytelling for uh, for people. Now, right now, Quibi is on mobile devices. Do you envision in the future that we may get Quibi on smart TVs or will this always we, it's, it, it, the content's actually made to be on a mobile device, right? Okay. You get plenty of stuff on a TV. You're already yeah. getting so many great television shows, so many great uh, different services, and there are more great ones that are coming. This is actually unique and different. And if you take mm -hmm. all of those services of uh, Disney Plus and Hulu and HBO Max and 
Amazon and Apple TV Plus and all of them, take them all together, less than 10% of their viewing is on a phone and 100% of our viewing is on a phone. Yeah. So we're just we're just different from from them. And so we, we like that. We think that that is, in fact, what's unique about us. One of the things that's unique about us. And, you know, nowadays, people are mostly on their phones anyway, so it's much more convenient. <laughs> Now, uh, with so many choices, uh, what program would you suggest viewers to start with or what should they search first? Uh, you know what? Honestly, that's like asking me, which of my children do I love? Most? <laughs> so I had a feeling. There's, there are 50 shows uh, in this first two weeks, 500 mm -hmm. episodes. There are everything from great movies, great documentaries, fun things like Chrissy Teigen and Idris Elba versus Block and a stunt car competition. Punked with Chance the Rapper is just beyond hysterical. Uh, I Promise is a documentary with LeBron James. There are great movies. Um, there are the Daily Essentials, which is news and information and talk shows and lifestyle. So honestly, on purpose, we've tried to create, you know, a lot of different and, and differentiated stuff so that there is there are choices. And the app will help you uh, find these things. And, and I think you'll see that it's, you know, beautifully organized. And there's a very strong recommendation engine built into it. So once you oh, start perfect. to make choices, it will quickly understand uh, and, and be able to then feed you more things. Wonderful. And, you know, I like the recommendation thing, too, because I always use that. That's, that's always very helpful, especially when you have so much to choose from. Now, uh, one last question before we wrap up. As I mentioned earlier, you, you've led such an amazing career. You have a lot of fans out here. Um, one last question. You've done so much. Is there anything that you would still like to do, something that you haven't quite tackled yet, that you haven't had a chance to do yet? I'm doing it. This is it. Quibi. Quibi. <laughs> awesome. This is and act three. <laughs> this, is, this is something I'm adding in. I noticed that uh, Guillermo del Toro is also... Yes. That is... Awesome. Well, yeah. again, thank you. Thank you so much for thank taking you. the time to speak with me today. Good. Jeffrey Kastenberg, thanks thank again. You. you take care. Bye. You too. Bye. A very big thank you to today's guest, Jeffrey Katzenberg. You know, technically speaking, if it wasn't for him, the Star Trek franchise would never have happened. Mind blowing, right? <laughs> now, if you guys didn't know, he was actually a part of the creation for some of your favorite classics like Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Lion King, Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, How to Train Your Dragon. That's just to name a few. So that was such an honor to be able to speak with him. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Uh, if you missed any of today's interview, as always, you can catch the entire interview on our website at sidewalkstv.com. And we also have uh, the rest of our interviews on there. We stream 24 hours a day on our website, so check that out. Um, that's it for me, guys. I'm out of here. I will see you next time. Take care. Thanks, Lori. I'm Richard. Stay healthy. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time here on Sidewalks. Bye, everyone.